Welcome back to my channel guys. Today's video is going to be a kitchen tour and you have to excuse me I'm starting to get a little bit sick so I have a bit of a raspy voice but we will bear through it together. So we'll start off with one of my favorite things in the house which is my beautiful bird of paradise plant which sits in the far right corner of my kitchen. And I've had this guy for two years. He is getting huge, but he's really beautiful and he's really the only massive piece of non-furniture um, anything that's in my house. And I really like that you can also see him all the way from the front door when you first walk into my house. To the left of my plant is my counter which serves as a place for me to have my breakfast and also my phone and my computer are pretty much always parked here and this is where I have my coffee in the morning and make my to-do list for the day. These beautiful grey bar stools were gifted to me when I first moved in but as you can see my cats have done a number on them and I'm debating replacing them with something a little bit more cat friendly so let me know down below if you have any recommendations for colour or fabric. Most of you guys know that I always like to keep my counters clean and totally free of clutter, but for the purposes of today's video, I did light a candle just for the intro, but I couldn't help it and I had to remove it a couple of minutes in. <laughs> So I don't have anything sitting out on my counter except for a plant that is in the far right corner as well as my Keurig coffee maker and a crystal fruit dish with some avocado and banana on it. And the only fruit I ever like sitting on my fruit dish on the counter are bananas and avocado because I like to keep a really neutral palette and it would drive me absolutely crazy if I had apples and oranges sitting on my counter all day. In the far left corner of my kitchen, I have a stainless steel trash can as well as this really cheap, simple white vacuum cleaner that I use to clean my floors on a daily basis. And it was only $29.99 on Amazon, but it does the trick. Turning to the right, we have an area where I like to hang odds and ends that I don't want sitting out. So we have my work bag, a stethoscope, a bunch of spare plastic bags, which come in handy for kitty litter, as well as we have the broom and the mop. On the side of the breakfast nook is what I guess you would call my laundry room, although it's not really much of a room, it's just a standing washer and dryer behind the door. And I do have some dryer balls which I use on occasion, and for a while I was using these Himalayan soap nets, uh, trying to be more eco-friendly, but I found that they weren't getting my clothing quite as clean as I would like them to, so I do have some regular laundry detergent on the side to use as well, and I really just like the original scent Tide that happens to be my favorite smelling laundry detergent. Keeping with the really clean, clutter-free look of my home, I also don't like to have a whole bunch of stuff on my fridge, and that includes family photos, random pieces of paper, and magnets. So all we have on there right now is a school schedule with some important dates, as well as this really cute magnet I bought when I was in university. Above the fridge is where I keep our cutting board, as well as our medicine chest and a toolkit, so nothing too exciting, so I won't get into that. And in the freezer, we mostly just have a bunch of frozen fruits and some frozen spinach to make smoothies with, as well as some ice cream and an ice cube tray. Nothing too exciting. And for those of you who are interested in my boring fridge, I will let you have a sneak peek. I just have some almond milk and some regular milk, some eggs, some fruit, some ground beef. On the middle shelf, I have some vegetables and some cookies, as well as my water bottle that usually stays in here to keep nice and cold. And then on the bottom we have more vegetables and my favorite bread which is by Silver Hills. In the doorway we have some of my favorite cheese that I eat on a regular basis and some condiments. So nothing too crazy. I try to keep my fridge stocked with only foods we're actually going to eat in the next week because I don't like things going bad and having to waste food. I try to keep everything in my home the same color as you guys know. So in this top drawer I just have some dish towels that are all with the same color palette as well as my favorite air freshener which is by Airwick and it is the Vanilla Passion Scent. If you guys haven't smelled this one, I highly recommend it. I've been using it for at least five or six years and I absolutely love the way it makes my house smell, especially in the summertime. 
The drawer underneath that is the drawer formerly known as the junk drawer, which I have recently decluttered so it's no longer junk. So it actually has everything that I need in it, including pens, lighters, whiteout, and a bunch of cords for home electronics because we do not have cable TV. We stream everything and just pretty much use the internet and Netflix. And below that, we have a really boring drawer. It's just some aluminum foil, some Ziploc bags, and my baking mitts. This drawer is the one that tends to get the most cluttered out of any one in my kitchen, but I can't really declutter it more than it is because it's got everything we need to cook food and to eat with. And I try to keep my utensils down to the bare minimum. As you can see, we actually only have one spoon at the present moment. So I only keep the bare essentials with this as well. Everything that's in here actually gets used and anything that doesn't get used is automatically decluttered because I don't like having extra pots and pans and extra appliances kicking around my house. So I literally have only two frying pans, a medium and a large, and three pots, one small, one medium, and one large, and that's all we really need. Under the sink, I recently bought this handy little over the door organizer, which I absolutely love because it allows my dishcloth to dry without touching anything. And I don't like leaving dishcloths sitting on the counter. It drives me crazy. And then under the sink, I have a mop pail, some garbage bags, some cloths to clean with, a ice cream pail that just houses a couple of extra odds and ends, including a hair remover apparatus for the cat's hair my homemade household cleaner the only household cleaner i use for the entire home i have a little spritzer bottle for my plants when they get dry because the air is quite dry in here in winter we have some hand lotion some eco-friendly dishwasher tabs and my favorite dishwashing detergent i really like this step if you haven't tried it it bubbles really well and cleans really well and it smells really good and is more eco-friendly than some of the other dish soaps I also have some Thieves essential oil which I use to make my household cleaner as well as some floor cleaner, some rubbing alcohol, and some vinegar which I also use to make my own household cleaner. And that's pretty much it for under the sink. Beside those items we have our really ancient stove which I can't help because I'm renting and my landlords haven't replaced the stove for me. And below the stove I have a few items for bakeware and I try to keep those to the bare essentials as well but I do do a fair bit of cooking and baking. And I've actually recently decluttered and I'm selling my slow cooker because I feel like anything I can make in a slow cooker I can make on top of the stove and just don't really need it. I do have a dishwasher which I use only on occasion because my landlord wants me to make sure that the bands stay moistened so it doesn't wear out. So from time to time I will do a load in the dishwasher but I prefer to do them by hand. And I don't want to bore you guys too much with my food items but I'll give you a little peek as to what is in my cupboards as well. So I always have no sugar added jam and natural peanut butter which I eat every single day. And I have a variety of nuts and seeds that I like to put in my oatmeal or on top of fruit dishes as well as my favorite protein powder. On the top shelf we have just a bunch of spices which all get used. I made sure that I don't have any extras up there. And then I just have some baking products and some cooking oils in the uppermost shelves. In this cupboard, I do have four wine glasses, two that are stemmed and two that are not stemmed, but we actually don't drink wine. We just like the looks of the glasses, and sometimes for a nice dinner, I will treat us to a glass of water or juice or whatever we happen to have in our wine glasses. Tupperware is a problem. It's one of those things that I can never seem to keep organized or straight, but I've recently gone through and reorganized and my new tactic is to try to keep the lids on them as much as possible so I can actually see what we have and they don't go missing. We also have some reusable Ziploc bags which are really eco-friendly and a great way to help reduce plastic waste. And then below that we just have a shopper's bag which I use to carry my lunch to work as well as my daughter's lunch kit which she is not using today because she's homesick from school and she has her crystal water bottle which she uses as well. This cupboard is probably my favorite one in the kitchen because I love how aesthetically pleasing it is and how clean and clutter free it is. So I don't like to have any extra plates or cups aside from what we actually need and I like everything to follow the same color palette as well. 
So I have four white bowls and a set of small and large plates. We also have some paper towel which comes in really handy having a child in the house. We have two glasses, two coffee mugs, and two teacups. And then of course I have my Nutribullet, which is probably my favorite appliance in my entire kitchen and I make some really amazing smoothies with it. And as many of you know, pale baby blue is my favorite color for coffee mugs. I especially like this really cute monogram one, which I think I got from Bed Bath & Beyond, and this little robin egg baby blue one that I got from HomeSense. So above my Chinese money plant, I have what I call my tea and coffee cupboard. So on the top, I have a French press and some stevia. In the middle shelf, I have just my regular ground coffee that I use on a daily basis, as well as these amazing little tins that hold um, tea leaves, as well as some matcha powder. And on the shelf below that, I just have a bunch of vitamins that I take on a regular basis, like biotin, vitamin D, and essential fatty acids. I also have Earl Grey tea, which we like to enjoy on a nightly basis. And of course, my favorite Four Sigmatic coffee that I rave to you guys about in almost every video. So this video is getting a little long, so I think I'm going to stop it here today and make myself a cup of coffee. But I would really like your input as to what kind of chairs or stools you think I should replace these ones with in my kitchen. I would like something that is pet friendly and keeps with the same neutral gray decor that's in my house. So what would you replace yours with? Please let me know in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.